Eddie. Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for this Sunday episode of Bob TV featuring my buddy Calvin. What's up Calvin? It's Sunday. A, it's a sad day in airplay world, ain't it? Yes, it is. Tell them what happened. I crashed my bike plane today. That's the short version right there. <laughs> short and sweet. That's, that's all I'm doing. Is I saying. got the long version earlier. <laughs> I thought I'd see the tear or two. There's all the wet towels are off. The <laughs> oh, it sucked. <clears throat> I guess Calvin lost it due to battery failure. Battery failure. And fell and failed. It fell out of the fail and failed. Fell out. Fell out of the slot. And came on plug something. But this is what we're doing today. He came over and kind of drowned his sorrows in an airplane. <laughs> so we're going, we decided we was going to turn to this Tomcat today. Bill, did you put this together? <laughs> Looks kind of like a Bill job, though. <laughs> What's that wire to, Bill? <laughs> this, this one thing about Bill's airplanes, they might look like this, but you point at a wire. I don't care if it's this one back here or that one up there. Bill, he'll tell you where it goes. <laughs> That's what Bob tells me. Yeah, he's on it. But we got to get the gear out of this, and we're going to have to replace all the airline. I've already been at it. We already got a pretty good hunk of stuff out of it. And been nipping wires and and uh, ain't there yet. But I wanted to give you guys a before and after. That ain't there right count. We'll give them a before and after now. Notice all these wires and uh, hoses. Cause you won't look at them all, see? You won't see none of that. Mine, you don't see none of that. It's all strategically hidden. It's all still there. You just don't see it. The and, MCU. Yeah, his his MC his his MC uh, mess <laughs> unit is uh, non-existent. Non-existent. He has no central mess containment unit. So we're gonna fix that for him. And they get rid of all these mechanical valves. He's got, oh, four or five mechanical valves in there. And a couple of electric ones, but we're gonna get rid of all them. Hey, cow. Yep. But sadly, we got to get to this, get to landing gear. Now we got the okay from Fly Eagle. That kind of took a couple weeks. I guess it was out of town for a week of it or something. Uh, we got to get the gear out of it and just put it away until uh, the other gear show up. But what we mainly want to do is everything we take out of this, put in the box or something. We'll keep it together, right, Calvin? That's right. We got to keep everything separated. Can't mix this up with F4 stuff or A10 <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Because there's a lot of stuff out there. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Man, he's got stuff sticky tape to other stuff. I wouldn't have lasted very long. Yeah. Some sticky tape. Definitely a central mess containment unit. Needs a little work. Now there's uh, another uh, screw, but it's under that dang servo. I'll be taking some snapshots of this so I know where everything went. No, oh, it's not going back how it went, Kelvin. That's the thing, see? Uh, it's not going back how it went <laughs> together. It's going back Bible style. Yeah. Okay. That's what you said you were going to do. 
We want all these mechanical valves to be gone. It'll be all real neat. All the air valves will be under this board. All of them. So I like using these electric valves because you got to put like five electric valves in it. You just line them up. It's right there under this board. They're all gone. All this is gone. You know? Love them electric valves. Take up a third of the space and then you're able to hide it better. And these ECUs, you know, don't weigh very much, but they fit perfectly in these cheeks inside of these ducts. Inside, that's just a big hollow spot. It's real easy to get to right through there. And uh, that's where I got mine. So that's probably where I'm going to put his too. We got to clean this thing up, man. What do you think, Calvin? Uh, you can start pulling them bolts out of them gear. Right. But I want to put the nut and bolts back in the hole. No, you can't. Oh, uh, we'll put them all in this tub. Yeah, it's a little too clustered, man. If you're at the field and you got to work on something, this is just not unacceptable. You know, it's just... I, I hate stuff like that. You know, and, and when you buy an airplane used and you run into this, you're just lost because you don't know where nothing is, where it's going, where it's ran. And uh, unless it's real neat like mine, mine is self-explanatory, you know, you don't have to trace nothing. Everything's real neat and organized. And there's other people out there like that too. He's got, this was put together several years ago. He's got lipos and the voltage regulators. We'll be able to, he, Ron gave me life, so we'll be able to get rid of them voltage regulators. Man, we could have a draw sale with this. Because these matchboxes won't be going back in there. I don't like matchboxes. I hate using them. I will not use one. I lost the plane because of it. Matchbox. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Now this whole board has just got to come out sooner or later. You know, and if we was putting it back the same way, I would. I wouldn't do this, guys. But uh, this is going back all different. All right. I'm going to use mine for a pattern and not do this. You got an E-clip, you're going to have to pull on that, that linkage too. You see it up next to the fuselage? That linkage that hooks to the fuselage? Don't worry about it now. It's on the... Yeah. best trying to figure out how we're going to get that bracket off. Just take that E-clip and push that stud through there. But I got, I got a lot done today, 10 guys. Fuselage is pretty much wrapped up.
Dean, I like being able to take this board out. What I do, Calvin, I put my receiver up here. So I cut a big hole in it for all these wires to stick through. But I make that hole big enough to where you can push the receiver through there. So I can pull this board out without unplugging the receiver. Awesome. You know, if you have to take this whole board out to get in there and work on that airline, you, you know, or the way he's got it, I had to pull every wire oh, out of yeah. it. But with the, with all with all these down here, that frees up this whole board. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, baby. Now we're just gonna snip this. Snip, snip, snip. No, this ain't a bisectomy session. <laughs> Don't have to get that nervous. We're just cutting all these airlines. We're just gonna cut them all. Snip, snip. I don't want to cut no wires. I don't want to cut no wires, guys. Got some black tape in here, even. And a nice mixture of building supplies. You know that buddy Lou I had? You know that Lou I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Serial killer Lou. He used to use a. Uh, Silicone. He was the silicone king, man. He'd go in these airplanes <laughs> with a tube of silicone. His head wouldn't come back out till that tube was empty. <laughs> you want to talk about a mess? But he didn't. He thought one wire rubbing against another uh -huh. would uh, cause it to short out. So any place two wires touched or anything like that, he'd silicone off. Silicone it. Man, a little mess. Okay, now I'm down to the gear. I can see the gear. <laughs> Good thing you got several removal tools.
Okay. We have a lost eclipse. <laughs> Trixie! <laughs> She'll find you. If it was bacon flavored. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to keep plucking away, but I want you guys to get a good look at the before and get ready for the after. And it's going to look totally different. But that's what we're doing today. We're going to get these gear out of here and get this airplane put up. And uh, 